Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is the 7th lecture of the Dynamic Programming Series Part 1. In this lecture, we are going to take a look at the problem coin change. So the problem is you are given coins of different denominations and a sum value. You have to compute the minimum number of coins that you need to make up the total sum or tell that it is not possible. If we take an example, here are the coins, there are three coins of denomination values 1, 2 and fine. Oh sorry, 5. And we have to make a total sum of 11. This can be done using 3 coins. The minimum number of coins would be 3. And that would be 5, 5 and 1. We are using 2 coins of value 5 and 1 coin of value 1. So the total number of coins used are 3. So using 3 coins you can make total sum 11 and 3 is minimum here and this is example 2 we have coin of value 2 only and we have to make sum 3 there is no way you can make 3 using of coins of value 2 so that is why the answer is minus 1 indicating the sum uh, sum is not possible so this is our approach so what we are going to do uh, we are going to take a dp array of size m uh, sum plus one so that we have all indices from one to sum and dp of i would indicate the minimum number of coins to make a total sum i that is dp of 10 for example would tell you the minimum number of coins required to make a total sum 10 so the result would be dp of sum as you can see this is a one dimensional dp and we are going to solve this problem iteratively so for this example let's take uh, an array dp array of size uh, 12 so that we have all indices from 0 to 11 now uh, initialize 0th uh, place with 0 indicating the total sum 0 can be constructed using zero coins of course if you have to const uh, if you have to find the minimum number of coins to make total sum zero so the result would be zero because you don't have to add any coin at all so result of zero would be zero now for the rest fill the rest with infinity infinity is a very big number you can choose anything which is outside the bound of solution so uh, solution at max can be suppose some value can be at max 10 to 6 so anything above 10 to 6 can be considered as infinity in my example test case I have taken infinity to be 10 to 8 so fill the rest place with infinity indicating currently that there is no solution for for these and now one by one we are going to fill these uh, fill these values uh, our loop will run from 1 to to sum uh, since it is not possible for me to explain I mean the explanation would not be that clear for 1 and 2 uh, I'll be explaining from 3 after the explanation uh, explanation you will be able to understand why the values of 1 and 2 are uh, 1 it is easy just uh, because there is a coin of value 1 so uh, total sum 1 can be made using only one coin and there is a coin of value 2 that is why total sum 2 can be made using only one coin but uh, I'll be explaining for 3 4 5 6 and and so on for the rest values now for 3 the question is how you can make total sum 3 suppose the optimal solution of 3 contains k coins so value of c1 plus value of c2 plus value of 3 3 dash 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 k like this uh, 11 you can make using three coins so here to make the total sum 3 we are using k coins in optimal solution so in this configuration all you have to do is look for the last value that is the kth coin what value can the kth coin have can it be 5 the answer is no if you place uh, if if the kth coin that is the last coin 
is 5 itself then the total sum is going to be greater than 3 but since the sum of the coins must be equal to 3 so the last cannot be 5 but the last coins can be 1 and 2 right so if the last coin is 1 then configuration would look something like this if the last coin is 2 con configuration would look like this now let's talk about the first configuration if the last coin is 1 then the sum of the rest of the coin must be equal to 2 that's the way uh, 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 right so the sum of the coins sum of the rest of the coins is going to be 2 so since we need uh, we want to minimize the total number of coins used so uh, these coins uh, we must minimize the total number of coins to make sum 2 right or basically you have to find the minimum number of coins to make a total sum 2 but wait this is the exact definition of dp2 dp at 2 is actually the minimum number of coins required to make total sum 2 and that is why uh, that is what we want here we want the minimum number of coins to make a total sum 2 right uh, or which is basically dp of 2 dp of 2 is 1 which indicates using one coin you can make total sum 2 so you need one coin to make total sum 2 and one coin for this so in total using two coins you can make sum 3 if the last coin was 1 so for this configuration we need two coins to make total sum 3 for the second configuration if the last coin is 2 then the sum of the rest of the coins must be equal to 1 and since we need to minimize the total number of coins used so we need to find the minimum number of coins we have to minimize this these coins which make sum 1 so basically you have to find the minimum number of coins used to make sum 1 which is basically dp of 1 dp of 1 is 1 that is to make total sum 1 you need only one coin so one coin to make sum 1 and one coin because of the last coin so in total 2 so even in the second configuration you need two coins to make total sum 3 so answer of this would be minimum of these two configuration minimum of 2 comma 2 is 2 so using two coins you can make total sum 3 now to explain all uh, this looks like there is a lot going behind the scene but actually it is not it's it's quite easy it is not difficult so see uh, the last coin for 3 can be either 1 and 2 it can't be 5 because 5 is greater than 3 so 5 is not eligible the last coin can be 1 so you have to look at position 3 minus 1 that is 2 at position 2 now the last coin can be 2 as well so 3 minus 2 is 1 so you have to look at these two position you have to look at dp of 1 and dp of 2 minimum of dp of 1 and 2 is 1 so you have to take the minimum of those values plus 1 plus 1 because of the last coin so minimum of 1 of 1 is 1 and then for the last coin it is going to be uh, 1 extra so the result is going to be 2 now for 4 as well you can't use 5 now you can use 1 and 2 only so if you use 1 you have to look at dp of 4 minus 1 which is 3 so you have to look at dp of 3 dp of 3 is 2 last coin can be 2 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so dp of 2 so you have to take the minimum of dp of 2 and dp of 3 minimum of dp of 2 and 3 is 1 so 4 can be made using 2 coins 1 plus 1 1 because of this and 1 because of last coin so dp of 4 would be 2 which indicates total sum 4 can be made using 2 coins and how is that possible simply take uh, since the minimum was this which indicates we would be making a result of 4 using result of 2 so 2 can be made using 1 coin all you have to do uh, add 1 extra coin of value 2 and the total sum is going to be 4 that is why 1 plus 1 is 2 now for 5 now we can use 1 2 and 5 all because all the coins are less than equals to 5 now uh, if the last coin is 1 then we have to look at dpf dp of 4 if the last coin is 2 then we have to make uh, we have to look at dp of 3 if the last coin is 5 then we have to look at dp of 0 minimum of 4 3 and 0 is uh, i mean dp of 4 dp of 3 dp of 0 is 0 which is here 
so uh, dp of 5 is going to be 0 plus 1 which is 1 using the same argument for 6 it would be dp of 5 4 or 1 because you subtract 1 2 and 5 so dp of 5 4 and 1 the minimum is 1 so 6 can be made using 2 coins result of dp of 6 would be 2 now formally how we are going to do it we would be running a loop from 1 to sum and each time we would in initialize the answer to be infinity and then we would run a loop of j from 0 to less than number of coins so 0 to less than 3 0 coin is this first coin is this second coin is this each time we would see whether the ith uh, whether the jth coin is less than equals to i of course right so if the jth coin is less than equals to i we would minimize the answer as answer is equal to minimum of dp of i minus coins of j so i minus coins of j means if you are finding the result for 7 it would be uh, dp of i which is 7 7 minus first coin uh, 7 minus 0th coin 0th coin is 1 so dp of 6 and then first coin is 2 so 7 minus 2 which is 5 so dp of 5 so you would be finding minimum of dp of 6 dp of 5 and dp of 1 sorry 2 and after minimizing answer the result would be yeah the result depends upon two things first if the result is still infinity uh, after minimizing the result is still infinity which indicates 7 cannot be or uh, there is no possible way to make total sum 7 so in that case uh, we would fill uh, at 7 place infinity otherwise at 7th place we would fill answer to be uh, at position 7 we would fill the result as answer plus 1 now let's take an example where the answer is going to be infinity itself thus in the second test case we know the answer is minus 1 so we initialized uh, we we have taken dp of size dp array of size 4 uh, we have initialized the first index with sorry the zeroth index with zero indicating some zero can be made using zero coins now the loop runs from 1 to 3 at position 1 oh, sorry at position 1 uh, first we uh, we would be running a loop for all the coins and see if the jth coin is less than equals to i since i is 1 and j is 0 0 coin that is 2 is not less than equals to 1 so answer which we initialize with infinity would still be infinity so in this case uh, we won't change dp of 1 or you can save dp at position 1 infinity because 1 cannot be made and this is because you run through all the coins and none of those coins was smaller than 1 we, uh, so we cannot minimize the total sum uh, or basically we cannot form total sum 1 so if you can't make total sum 1 the answer that we uh, the answer which was which we were trying to minimize would not be minimized and answer would be infinity in that case value of 1 would be infinity now i would increment and i would become 2 uh, the first coin is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so at place 0 you found 0 so answer would be minimize to 0 from infinity so the result of 2 would be 0 plus 1 1 now you go to 3 at position 3 uh, from 3 the last coin can be 1 sorry this 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 at position 1 also there is infinity so answer would still be infinity even because answer is answer is minimum of answer comma dp of i minus jth coin so i is 3 3 minus jth coin is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 1 is also infinity so the answer would be still infinity so after running through all uh, running through the uh, all coins running through all of the coins the answer is still infinity so at place 3 we are going to place infinity not infinity plus 1 so if i show you the code first thing uh, if you want to solve the problem yourself let me show you what problem we i'm talking about the problem is 322 uh, uh, the uh, problem is taken from lead code problem is 322 coin change 
so if you want to solve the problem yourself i mean if you want to code it yourself go ahead because i'm to i'm about to show you the code so this is the solution uh, in the parameter you are passed two things first vector of coins this is basically your different denominations and then this is the total amount you have to make so i'm taking coin size to be the total number of coins right so coin size is equals to coins dot size now we have to take a dp array of size amount plus one that is what we have done here after that the dp of zero is initialized with zero and then infinity i have taken to be 10 power 8 now running a loop from one to amount uh, dp is initialized with infinity after that for each position one to amount we, uh, we are running a loop and then for each each position we we are initialize the answer or we are initializing the answer with infinity and then running through all of the coins the value of the jth coin j is 0 to total number of uh, less than uh, total number of coin so if the jth coin is less than equals to i first of all if you want to use the jth coin then its value must be less than equals to i to make a sum i right we have seen that so if if a uh, coin of j is less than equals to i then we would minimize the answer so answer is equals to minimum of answer comma dp of i minus coin of j after running through all of this after running through the list of all the coins available if the answer is still infinity that is we have we are not able to make uh, this would indicate that we are not able to make the total sum i so in that case the dp of i would be filled with infinity again otherwise dp of i would be filled with answer plus one now finally to return the result if dp of amount is equal to infinity that would indicate the amount cannot be uh, made using these coins so you would return minus one as the result otherwise you would return dp of amount if you submit the code most likely we are going to get ac because the code is tested of course so we have got an ac so this is how you solve this coin changing problem there are many versions of it uh, this is one of them so we would do, uh, we would be taking others other variation of this coin change problem as well so hope you have learned something from it and if you have any doubts or any suggestion you can always uh, write it down in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and yep till the next video drops keep coding thank you